Meet Mate Iwarangi Heta Morris. He's New Zealand's super heavyweight arm wrestling champion, undefeated for the last eight years. So there's there's three main techniques. There's the hook, driving in, uh, oh, yeah. and that's just sort of bicep power. Um, then there's the press, that's tricep. And my one that I use is the top roll. So I sort of bend your wrist back and follow through. Oh, yeah. wow. Do, you, do people ever twist their wrist, sprain their wrist, whatever? Break um, their wrist? Have you seen no. a wrist broken? I've seen an arm snap. Yeah. <laughs> I've broken about seven arms. Weighing over 160 kgs and standing in at 6.2 feet, it's no wonder he's been nicknamed the Beast. He's been arm wrestling competitively for almost a decade, but he's come a long way from where it all started as a schoolboy at Western Heights High School in Rotorua. I was doing a bit of it at high school, yeah, just on the rubbish bins. Yeah. And then, um, <laughs> With your mates? <coughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, for for food or whatever, yeah. And then um, a little bit, oh, fast forward a bit, um, then I started doing it at the pubs. Serious, it just went from pies to jugs. <laughs> yeah, pies to beers. He remained undefeated in his town for years, until one night. So I was beating everyone at the pubs and the DJ, uh, someone had got him out and he, he, he smoked me, yeah. But um, the way he beat me, I knew it wasn't like the normal way that I had been arm wrestling. And he had told me he had, he had learnt a few techniques, messaged me a, a couple of weeks later saying that there's a group up here in Auckland called the Sons of Samson. And they're an they're a actual arm wrestling group. Yeah. And um, we went up there for training and yeah, we, well, we definitely um, got schooled up. Yeah. So from the pub to competitive arm wrestling, he's held the title of New Zealand's super heavyweight arm wrestling champion since 2012. He's also won the Oceania arm wrestling championship title in Australia twice. Now he's in Romania, having just competed at the World Arm Wrestling Federation Championship. I never ever thought I'd see myself travelling the world arm wrestling, you know. Not, not many people think that. And he's infused his culture into the sport he loves, taking his auntie, who is an expert in Thai Medimedi, a combination of Thai and Māori massage therapy, to help with his preparations and recovery. But he'll be bringing even more mana to the table this year when he comes face to face with his opponents. I'm driven by my culture. Yeah. Tell me about your tāmoko. Yeah, uh, this is um, my matora. Yet, uh, I've, it's, it's something that I've um, had, the, had the urge to, uh, to take it on for quite a while. Uh, so I do, I do tamako as well. And um, for me to wear this as a representation of uh, my whakapapa, um, where I'm from, our culture, my kids and the mahi I do, uh, uh, like this is, is a big respect to to the atua that helped us with our art, our culture. Mate Iwarangi says his culture has become a more powerful boost than any pre-workout supplement could ever give him. Well, every time I step to the table, I I sort of go up there with with my tupuna behind me, um, even more so now that. It's on my face. Um, How does that make you feel? Yeah, well, like, like to think about it now. It's almost, almost getting me ready to jump on the table. But yeah, I'll, I'll save that. But um, I've, I'm, I'm proud. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to say proud like of myself, but I'm just, I'm proud to wear it. But beast or not. He's a sentimental, gentle giant at heart. One thing I, I usually do before I um, step up on stage is I, I look up to the top right of me and I sort of envision my grandparents watching me. Um, yeah, my, my grandmother was probably one of my biggest um, followers and fans. She, she didn't know anything about arm wrestling. Yeah, nothing at all, but I can see her up there. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's, it's pretty cool. And, and then um, right then, I usually get this like a tingling feeling up the back of my neck. And then that's, that's usually when the beast is turned on. But it's not just about the thrill of competition. The sport has become so much more than that for the beast. Before arm wrestling, Mate Iwarangi had a hard life and battled alcohol abuse. He says the sport became his saviour and turned his life around. So yeah, about when I was arm wrestling for um, beers at the pub and stuff, yeah, I was, I was in a, uh, I was in what you'd call like a, a good role model uh, for my family and for my kids, yeah. and and my grandmother could see that. If you hadn't changed your life around and you weren't doing what you're doing today, where do you think you would be at? <laughs> uh, for, oh. uh, you're probably like. Uh, I didn't really see it getting worse than where I was, but yeah, probably, probably in jail. Yeah, I don't know, probably not being able to see my kids. And, yeah. Yeah. It was a bit of a hard question. Yeah. But um, everything's a lot better now, so. So you must have. I suppose some respect for the sport or some gratitude for the yep. sport that yeah, turns definitely. your life around. Yep. That's something I've also always said is I owe a lot to the sport. It sort of, it, it gave me discipline. It gave me something to to do. That there was the biggest reason was I had, I had no, no driving force. I had no visions, no ambitions. I was just living day by day. And what does he think his nan would think of him if she could see him now? Yeah, I'd, I'd say that she's she's proud of me, yeah. Um, but if, if anything, I'm, I'm, I'm more happy that she got to see me turn my life around before she left. And he's got a message for troubled young men today. It's, it's, it's going to be hard, um, but uh, if you if you can make that change, it's definitely worth it. There's going to be heartaches, hardships, there's going to be sacrifices you don't want to make, but it'll, it'll pay off if you're, if you're on track to something that you can see that will better your life. There's going to be, it's going to be a hard road, but it'll be worth it. Like I've, I've always said this, it's at the end of the day, I'm just arm wrestling myself, you know, yeah. So it's, I use that when I um, go up on the table. To try and better yourself each time? That's pretty much the goal, yeah. I'm on a mission, so I'm doing something with my life. For First Up, Indira Stewart.